I just, every time I see you, I'm just happy to be able to give you a big hug and say hello because <laughs> uh, it's been a challenging last couple of years for Oscar Chilovsky. Yeah, I mean, it's came from left field. I mean, on the 25th of November 2019, I got a tumor on my spine. And they said, oh, no, well, it's just cancer. I said, OK, well, so what? And it's, yeah, it's, it's a secondary cancer. And you've probably got four to six months to live. So I said, oh, OK, well, I'm happy with that. My wife was sitting next to me. Her 60th birthday was the next day. And I'd organized a special function. And she says, I can't go. And she's crying a lot. I probably shed a tear. But it didn't really worry me because I thought at 56, I've done so much. I was happy with life. For six months or four months, it was perfect. Sure, we could do a lot of things. We did have the 60th party. We went there and did it. And you've got to live your life. And I think that's what I'm trying to teach people is to really live their life. So you're going to have lots of challenges. And you have it in sport. You have it in in Durban. I was in Durban on Tuesday. And, and you have it in life. And this happens. And you just got to take it on the chin. And you've got to really just push forward. And, and don't think about it too much, because that's when it, the problem comes back. You know, If you think about it too much, it really grounds you down you know the only time i really actually think about it is when i'm going for chemo i go for chemo every three months and it, when you think sure there's a lot of people that are ill out there mm. but it's funny when you go in these chemo wards there's no music playing the people are all somber and you walk in there and say hey, good morning i have to say bon dia in portuguese when i go there but again you just got to uplift the people and that's what i've been trying to do through social media and it does help i mean people do get expired i had a guy in australia he saw me paddling in the Miller's Run. He said, oh, Oscar, I'm going to take up paddling. The next day, he's bought a uh, surf ski, and he's paddling, and he, this is the way he's going to fight it. You know? So that's my little bit, of, little bit of effort to make people feel a lot better about a terrible disease. And I'm lucky. I didn't get one. I got two. So I've got bone marrow cancer and skin cancer. And this morning, I was under the operating table having some skin cancer taken out here and fixing up my skin graft. I couldn't believe it. I went there just to have a little checkup, and he said, oh, you've got a little bit of skin cancer on your head. I'll take it out now. And then I flew up now. But what can you do? So two, two years on from that diagnosis of you've got four to six months to live, Oscar Chilopsky is still fighting on. Yeah, I mean, I've been racing. I've carried on. And I've really actually upped the ante. I mean, I was when I had the skin graft, I wasn't allowed to train for four weeks. But I've really upped the, I've, I'm enjoying actually training even more than before. Because I think, OK, well, you've got limited uh, life, but you might, might as well make the most of it. So I'm um, playing hard, drinking hard, having fun hard, you know. <laughs> <laughs>